Getting the gold. Here we are, Independence Mine. Gold mine in the middle of Alaska. Way up above Palmer with these incredible peaks. Today we're covered in snow. We had a snowstorm last night, but the road was still open for us. This is an old player piano. Looks like it plays with the braille. Here's some old telephones. Here's the scale right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's some reflection. Let me get my hands out of the way. This is how they measured the gold. And they put it in these little cases right here with tweezers because every little ounce counted. The old days of gold mining. Here's another little scale. So we're gonna go over there and check out this mini waterfall where they found the gold. Them there's gold in them there hills. So this is where the power plant used to be. This is where they made all the energy to support the mining operation. Now all falling down. These are the headwaters of that creek we filmed earlier down in the canyon below from the gold mining. That's where the headwaters begin, up in the mountains from the snow melt, I suspect. And here's the office where they did all the office work for the gold operation. And here they have some of the drilling machines that they drilled into the rock. This is pretty amazing. They've got the drilling machines hooked up to a power plant. It looks like they're steam operated. So they would use steam to power the drilling machine to break up the rock to mine the gold. Here are the drill bits that they use to drill into the rock. As you can see, there's different tips to them for different kinds of rock, I suspect. That's what they use to drill. And here's the safe. Here's the safe where they would keep the gold. Should we look inside and see if there's any gold left? Let's go look. No, I don't see any gold. 
I actually see where I think somebody tried to break it open from the back. This right here is what's called the retort room where the mercury and gold was separated from each other. That's how they got the gold.